Hi and welcome to one of our videos on technique and this one's running technique. Uh, running technique to be honest is very very tricky um, so uh, and even when you know how to do it you may not be able to do it because if you started you'd have to really start from quite an early age but having said that you really should still be continuing to work on it trying to get it as best as you can even marginal improvements can make a massive difference in terms of um, uh, reducing injury problems and even just getting a little bit out of your time you might not you might not be perfect I've hardly seen anyone perfect and to be honest the ones who are perfect uh, are still working on it so all the elite runners they're the ones who are the they're better than us because they're more efficient they spend hours working on their technique so that tells you something all right so um, I hardly ever see amateur people working on running they just don't think there is a technique to learn but trust me there is a technique to learn I'm going to show you some very simple stuff here. Um, I find if you overcomplicate it, you'll just never be able to do it. Um, this one here is, uh, you know, sort of quite an easy one to work on. And I'll, I'm going to play the, the two videos together and then we'll freeze frame them and talk about it for a bit. The one on the left is, um, this is the, um, the, the Paul one. All right, so, so this is where Paul technique on here. And this side is good. All right. Um, well, it's not per like I said, it's not perfect, but it's the it's much better than the other one. All right. So let's have a look at how these look. See if you can see what I see. So from front on, you're sort of looking at a couple of things. On the good side, you want you don't want to see his feet sort of cross. You don't want to, I quite often see people landing on the line as such. You sort of want to be running on like a tram line, not too wide, but sort of a distance apart. This is where people with ITB problems and overpronation problems, nearly all running problems are over excessive pronation. Running on the line, which you often see people do, is where a lot of problems are caused from. So just that on its own can be enough for some people to improve. But there's one thing here that, that's happening on the left side that he doesn't do so much on the right. And if I just go back, and you'll see here, where this foot lands, see it right out in front and the, see this huge heel land, bang. All right, now if I go back to this other one, you probably will still have a little bit of a heel, but it'll come back underneath. See how, you might even see it better on this one, just before it hits the ground. See, it's not like a heel goes, but then he swings the leg back underneath. See that? See how the heel doesn't land in that huge bracing. It's swinging under him to go backwards. All right, so this is very important to understand. You don't want to ever land on a heel strike like that. That, that is very much like putting the brakes on. So his body, is there's the brakes. He's actually stopping. So there's like huge impact going into the knee, the ankle, the hip, even the spine. Like it's just massive amount of deceleration. Where this one is getting the the foot is sort of swinging under him, and and then the other leg's swinging around. So you see, it creates like a circle. So it's like rolling a ball down the down the street. Where this one is like rolling a square. All right, do you see what I mean? Like, you know, how hard is it to roll a square versus rolling a circle? All right, so that gives you a good idea of about. Never really want to, if anyone tells you to run with heel strike, they don't have a clue about how to run. Now, if I'm just going to move this one over, you might be able to even see this better from this side, where that leg swings. In that. Nathan's not, it's not his forte to be, he's not a great runner, so really great runners, you'll see this, that foot would have swung faster underneath. If he had got his foot around, whoops, around um, here, He'd, have it, he'd be even more efficient as a runner. Nathan's more suited to strength training than running. He has, he's got strength training shoes on for a start. All right. Now, if he was running barefoot too, he would not be running like he would not be running like that. If you're barefoot, that would kill your heel. All right. So, a good way to learn how to run is run barefoot. Um, now, if I clear these, and then we have a look at this uh, this one here from side on. Um, All right, so let's have a look. Um, you'll see, you'll see that huge heel strike there, bang, bang. 
right, and see the outside of the foot will roll in. All right, and that's just not good. All right, so I hope that helps to sort of show you one thing. Now, there's, I'm going to have a couple other videos that, are, that I use to teach kids, to be honest, but all, these are very effective for adults, and there's three things that you're going to have to, that you need to understand, and this is sort of part one of them, but I'll break it down so it's even easier. All right, but this is it, the running technique in its um, basic form, I suppose. We call this pose running. All right, so um, see if you can implement it. Um, in your training and it'll make big dividends pay off for you all right hope you enjoy that see you on our next video